In this video, I'm going to show you how to do broad and short lighting. Now, this is a term that you do in portrait photography where you have the light on a certain side of a person's face. Now, a face is split into two halves, you've got the left and the right. But if you have a light on a certain direction, which normally you have a key light at an angle, for example, the Rembrandt lighting, 45 by 45, if you have the person's face where the 45 degree angle is hitting the side of the face which is further away from the camera, then that becomes short lighting. If you have it so that it's hitting the side of the face which is closest to the camera, then that's broad lighting. Generally, broad lighting sucks and everyone really likes short lighting. Short lighting gives a more of a better outline to the side of the face over this side and it means it puts into shadow the larger part of the face where it goes from nose to ear. So just now, this is the broad part, meanwhile this is the short part of my face. And if we have the light coming from here, let's say 90 degrees, you might get the Rembrandt light in there but it'll be hitting the shorter side of my face, so that's short lighting. If I were then to bring my face all the way around, or if I were to bring the flash over to this side, if I had all this lit, and maybe a little bit of red red lighting over here, that's broad lighting. And that would show off my big fat cheek, so that's not a good look. So today I'll show you with the model Yassi, that uh, with her just doing tiny little movements of her head, and maybe bringing her head right over her shoulder, we can go from short lighting to broad lighting and it's on the face, but also on the body as well. So let me show you the first shots. Okay, at the moment we've got Yaxi looking straight up into the umbrella and the flash. Now this would normally give an, a butterfly lighting effect on her face if the umbrella was closer to her face. But just now if we take a shot, it will give her a nice lighting straight down onto her face, so it's not really short or broad, but we are getting great modelling of her cheekbones. Now Yaxi, if you were to bring your face just a little bit closer to my direction, brilliant. Now, so through my camera lens just now, I, there's a short distance between her nose and her far away cheek. And that is where most of the light is hitting. Now, yes, if you could just open your eyes a little bit more, uh, that's good. Big eyes, there. So there what we've got is short lighting. It's lighting up the shorter side of her face. It's giving her lovely Rembrandt lighting on her cheek on the other side and putting the larger part of, or the broader part of her face into shadow, which makes it look slimmer. Now, yes, if you bring your face straight on, we may have split lighting here. Let's just shut. Okay, so there we've actually still got a bit of Rembrandt because the flash is obviously at 45 degrees. Now, if you ask her then to bring her nose maybe more to the right, just there, the flash and the umbrella, or the flash that's reflecting the umbrella is going to be hitting the broader side of Yassi's face. And the short side of Yassi's face will be in shadow. So this is what we call broad lighting. Now, broad lighting doesn't look nearly as good as short lighting that we had at the start. Yes, yeah, so if you could just bring it around to the short side and bring your nose a little bit closer to me. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Eddie. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do short and broad lighting. Uh, obviously, if you've got two different flashes, it's very easy if the model's moving from left to right, you can just change it so that's the brighter light and that's the softer light. You can also bring in fill light so that the shadow area isn't quite as in shadow. In here, we're using a very small room where there's lots of reflection, so that there's quite a lot of fill coming in on her face. That sounds rude. Anyway, uh, that's, that's the episode for today. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> There's a lot of film.